restricted versus unrestricted mixed models. You'll hear this term in couple of places in statistics. Today we'll be talking about the restricted versus unrestricted mixed model in the advanced level design of experiment. Uh, and experiments that involves nested design, repeated measure, split plot, hierarchical, subsampling. This is where we need to understand the restricted versus unrestricted model. The, um, the difference between these two, uh, whenever there is a um, interaction between the uh, fixed factor and the random factor, then we need an assumption for the uh, mixed effect. For example, this the uh, uh, AB interaction. So here, um, assume that we have factor B uh, random and factor A fixed. So their interaction, the alpha, beta, I, Z, that piece is generally any interaction. So this different e effects, there's a typo here, it doesn't exist. So we have the effect of A, effect of B, and the interaction effect. Generally, this term is considered as a single unit. And anytime you have an interaction and one of them, if at least one of the e factor is random, the entire term is considered as random. And uh, if that is the case, then there is no restriction. So that is unrestricted model. So when we consider this AB interaction completely random, assume that it is random, even though it has some fixed factor in it. Um, so that is unrestricted model. In the restricted model, on the other hand, it is not completely assumed um, random. So it has some effects uh, for each level of the random factor and also some random piece in it. Um, so to know more about this um, in the application, how in the expected mean square um, table development, I have videos on both of these topics, uh, restricted model and the unrestricted model in the openeducator.com uh, slash design of experiment here and this mix model experiment. I have them both video, check those out. Um, it will be more um, understandable and clear when we see how to develop the expected mean square, applying this restriction into there.